At FAS Karachi campus, we take pride in our research activities, in our research contributions. Alhamdulillah, we have 24 very good PhD faculty members who are highly active in research. Uh, they are serving various departments of computer science, electrical engineering. System Research Laboratory is primarily focused on integration, development and testing of, uh, of computing systems, which would provide scalability, security, agility, robustness for various research domains such as big data, uh, neural networks, cloud computing, IOTs and smart cities. We have recently received Higher Education Commission grant uh, under the program of NRPU uh, and this which we have to explore three major research challenges for smart cities related to high-speed network configuration and scalability of smart cities. We also have to explore security of smart cities specifically in terms of IOTs and related to deep neural networks and we have to develop solutions which can basically provide a robust and agile answer uh, for various smart city applications. These solutions will be developed using deep neural networks. We also have received grant from NVIDIA uh, through which we have received a number of high processing GPUs. We also have received uh, mobile GPUs. So under the HEC grant we also have, have access to high speed network which can provide access to up to 56 gigabytes per second. Uh, that's InfiniBand network. We have software defined network based switch. Uh, we have high speed servers with I mean GPU capability. So we have enormous computing power to solve real world smart city problems. We welcome research collaboration. If you are a student, you are most welcome to visit the lab and contribute uh, efficiently. If you are a researcher um, or a, a faculty member working in some other university or at National University Fast, you are more than welcome to come and have ideas for collaboration. Thank you. I'm Dr. Burhan Khan. I'm heading Artificial Intelligence Systems Group in FAST National University of Computer and Emerging Sciences in Karachi campus. Our group is working on artificial intelligence based applications and algorithms for uh, robotics, power system and uh, image processing. From the power robotics perspective, we are working on the integration of reinforcement learning and artificial intelligence of things. For power systems, we are working on intelligent systems for microgrid and smart grid to make intelligent decisions for unit commitment and economic dispatch. We are also working on image processing and deep learning based algorithms uh, for prognosis and health management and condition monitoring of uh, an industrial plant. I am Dr. Zulfiqar Mehman. Working as a professor in the Department of Computer Science, National University of Computer and Emerging Sciences. I am leading the group of Distributed Applications Group. The mission of our group focuses on multidisciplinary research, ranging from distributed systems, its application in crowdsourcing, implementation of distributed applications that support handicapped community, building up distributed AI applications in healthcare, developing distributed intelligent human aware applications that possesses context awareness, and many others. Our group is also working in developing distributed learning theories and frameworks following the software quality assurance standards to enhance the distributed virtual learning environments. Our research is fundamental aimed at harnessing the true potential of distributed crowdsourcing to enhance various phases of software development, ranging from requirements engineering to managing bug repositories. The group is application driven, motivated by important application areas such as developing distributed applications to utilize the unmanned aerial vehicle systems in education and health, developing auditable distributed systems, utilizing the state-of-the-art technologies, designing frameworks for dynamic collaborative zones, etc. Few of the currently project, current research projects that we are working is in sec-based in integration in multi-agent environments, and we are building also real, sign, real estate laser systems using blockchain. One of the other projects on which we are working currently is automated validation of bug reports and bug localization. The Smart Video Surveillance Lab at Karachi Campus is one of the state-of-the-art lab on surveillance. Uh, so we are looking, we are working on different computer vision applications for surveillance. So what we are looking for, this lab basically is sponsored by Planning Commission of Pakistan and HEC. 
and it's a 39.4 million grant that we received from HEC for over the three years. Uh, we have like it's just six months, so we just started this lab, but this is uh, one of the great opportunity that we got at Karachi campus. Uh, this lab is actually part of National Center for Data Analytics and Cloud Computing. Uh, we have different universities working under this uh, National Center, and FAST Karachi campus is one of the affiliated lab in this center. So uh, among this center, there are different applications uh, working on, for example, some of them are working on parallel computing, some of them are working on crime convention, uh, prevention, we can say crime prevention. And here at Karachi campus, we are working on uh, video surveillance uh, applications. So there are different different small projects that we are working on which is, uh, under this lab. And then one of the project is about child surveillance, so missing child uh, surveillance project, in which we are actually trying to find uh, missing children uh, by using the uh, by using videos so, or and images. So we are trying to find missing children from the content of the image directly. And then also we are working on surveillance of the citizen as well. So we are looking for person re-identification as well. So if there's a crime in one of the videos that we can find, so is it possible to find a crime in the same person that did the crime in another video? We are trying different models. We are trying ensemble learning. We are trying different deep learning models like CNN, random forest, deep random forest. So all the state of the art technologies that we are working on. And then we have various research staff working on this lab. And then the undergraduate students especially, they can benefit from it. We have a lot of different projects and our students actually they are getting benefit from it.